a board certified neurological surgeon. Um, my undergraduate training actually was in aeronautical engineering and then I went into medicine and finished my residency and training at uh, Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, I've been a practicing neurosurgeon for uh, over 30 years now. Without CIT, we're uh, sitting in an office uh, confronted with a patient who may be reluctant to go to work, uh, may not be able to go back to work, uh, and we have to make that determination. Without an objective assessment that we can stand behind, we're oftentimes forced to simply ask the patient, do you feel ready to go? And if they say no, it's another month off work. And that's why so often a lot of work comp problems get dragged out for extended periods of time, because we just don't have a fair, objective way to tell the patient you are ready and you are safe to go back to work. Um, with that tool, it's not that we need to be forcing people, but we can be uh, much stronger in our push to say you are ready to go. And when we do have that patient who you think the result of, let's say, an operation, everything looks good, but actually when they're measured, let's say their performance is not uh, ready to handle their specific job. And that's a, a very important protection for the patient as well so that they're not forced back into something that they aren't able to handle. So that objective measurement is, is a safeguard for both uh, the patient and the employer. Well, a linger is someone who uh, tends to embellish their uh, problems, their complaints, uh, is someone who obviously is not interested in uh, returning to work, um, wants the time off, or maybe is looking for a, a bigger secondary gain in the financial uh, part of this uh, whole industry um, and we're confronted with those patients uh, not infrequently. Uh, obviously most patients are, are reasonable, uh, well-motivated people who do want to get better and do want to go back to work but you do have that segment who is simply uh, exacerbating what's going on and is looking for maybe more financial gain. Uh, part of what impedes us again as a physician is that we're not able to oftentimes separate those well there are some people where their complaints simply don't make much sense and you can kind of pick out that rare patient. But there's a, there's a group that uh, you, you're unsure. Are they legitimate? Are they embellishing? Um, and being able to objectively measure where their performance is, you can, you can stay with a, uh, with a firm hand that you, know, you, you do not have a performance loss. You are able to carry out the functions of your job and we can show it and we can uh, you know, be satisfied that you're safe to go back to it. Uh, so it can, it can uh, pick out those people who again may be just embellishing or those who are truly uh, fraudulently you know, uh, saying that they have problems that they don't. Um, so those that are really trying to uh, illegally game the system can be sorted out as well.